That's that's horrible. I couldn't have I couldn't have swallowed that. A sentence never once uttered by his fiance. So Logan Paul released a super cringe mini documentary. I mean, need I say more? It's about his fight with Dylan Dennis, and I feel like he's trying to portray himself as Rocky, but he just comes off as this narcissistic cringe lord. So watch this sequence right here and see if you catch it. Ha! There we go, baby. Come on, come on. Keep going. Keep going. Did you catch that? So here, here Logan is doing three different exercises, okay? He starts with some sprinting, <laughs> medicine ball slams, come on, come on, come on, come on. and some high stepping. But that's not, that's not what's important. What's important is that during a couple of these exercises, he's not wearing a hat, but during one of them, he is wearing a hat. What's the big deal, right? It's all by design. You see, sprinting, no hat. Medicine ball slams, hat. High stepping, no hat. Why? Why? Purely by chance, no. Everything Logan does in front of the cameras because he is a narcissist is by design. He doesn't want to wear a baseball cap while working out and being all sweaty, but he makes sure to wear it during the medicine ball slams. Why? Why? Because when you are throwing your head down with such force, his comb forward would have swung way up. Just the wind generated going like this with such great force. His comb forward would be going shoinks and revealing his bald dome. He knows the cameras are on. He knows that comb forward will go flying. So he makes sure to have a cap on for just that exercise. So now he's in Manchester three days before the fight and he's got his comb forward, combed heavily forward. Okay, watch what happens now. Like obviously I could have predicted this. Did you see that? Look at how he wipes his brow. <laughs> Like, obviously, I could have predicted this. Did you catch that? He doesn't even get up to his brow. Who wipes their brow without wiping their brow? He's just up at the bridge of the nose. Why? He doesn't want to disturb the comb forward. He doesn't want to swipe up. So he goes to wipe his brow, realizes, oh no, the cameras are on me. Let me just do a little noinky, oinky, oinky right up here. Watch, we're gonna go frame by frame. He comes to swipe his forehead, hits the hair, immediately re realizes, oh God, I'm hitting the comb forward drops the hand lower to the bridge of the nose. This guy's entire life revolves around keeping his comb forward intact. And it's not just him. It's both of the Paul brothers because they both suffer from early hair loss and they have created this goofy haircut to maintain appearances. Let's go to Jake Paul. So this is right after the fight and Logan did his simp speech. I won't cover that again. That's in one of my previous videos. But what I do want to cover this time that I didn't catch the first time around. These guys are good, but I finally caught them. I finally caught them. So watch this. Logan is on Jake's shoulders for a speech. The speech has just ended and Logan will now dismount. Okay, he will dismount off his brother's head. Notice Jake has a hat on, okay, to maintain his comb forward, to keep that thing pinched down. All right, watch what happens now. You guys. Yeah. Okay, the hat fell off. I don't know if you caught that. Let's go back here. Hat is on, watch carefully, hat falls off. The hat falls off, okay? Now keep watching. This next bit will blow your mind. Watch. The hat fell off, so he's hiding his messed up comb forward behind Logan's body. Now you're just gonna get a peek of what happens here. Just a peek, but it tells you everything you need to know. Check this out. We're beginning to see, we're beginning to see Jake's head, okay? Watch what happens now. You will not believe this. Jake starts coming up. Watch his hand, right under Logan's hand. Watch that hand. Before Jake comes up and reveals himself, he gives a quick comb forward swipe. Bring it back down. Cover that bald dome to shove his cap tightly on top of it. Watch it again. This is shocking. This is shocking footage. Watch. He's coming up, careful to hide himself behind Logan, and just a quick swipe. Watch, here's the, here's the comb forward. Are you watching? Zoom in on that. Yeah, right there, pause it. Okay, watch the swipe. A quick swipe down to make sure the comb forward is forward. You thought you got away with that one, Jake. You thought you got away with it, buddy. Not on my watch. Not on my watch, goddammit. Now here's the thing, I wanna make something very clear. I'm not making fun of these guys for having gone bald young just as I wouldn't make fun of somebody for being short or being born without limbs. That is purely genetic 
It is just the lottery. It's life. It happens. I'm not going to kick them while they're down. What I will make fun of are these goofy ass haircuts they created to cover up their baldness that millions of teenagers worldwide adopted as their own haircuts. And every time I got to walk outside my goddamn house, I have to see these broccoli boys walking around and they're always walking around in packs like a bunch of assholes. And I'm sick of it. Not making fun of them for being bald, making fun of them for creating the broccoli cut and spreading it around the world like a plague. Okay. It offends my aesthetics. Okay. It's disgusting. And I need to shame it out of existence. The level of narcissism to always make sure that he looks just right in front of the camera. It's just insane. It must be exhausting. Now let's, let's go to a clip where he's riding in the car. And this is, this is days before the fight. I'm going to play it first. And I want to see, I want to see if you catch it. Okay. I want to see if you catch it and then I'll point it out. Watch this. Or like this. I've been through these storms so many. Did you catch that? Let's go back. I'll give you another chance. Watch this. It's a girl like this. I've been through these storms so many. You see that? Did you catch it? It's the unnecessary bicep pose. Never in the history of mankind has somebody been riding in the backseat of a car and gone like this. It's just not comfortable. Your elbows hitting the window. There's no room back there. Nobody's done it except this guy because he knows the exact angle the sun is shining down upon him, creating just the perfect highlight underneath the bicep peak. Now he's not dumb enough to go like this. All right. He's just trying to make it look casual. Oh yeah. The beach is that way, right? That's what this is. It's that in real life. The level of narcissism is psychotic with this man. He's just grown up in front of a camera. It's pathetic. He thinks he's, he's in a movie. I mean, look at this. Look at this montage. Dude thinks, dude thinks he's Rocky. Just watch this. Ugh, disgusting. Look at how, look at how he looks into the camera while working the speed bag. Look at this. That's a narcissist. Why don't you focus on your workout? Dog, 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 dog. Oh wait, there's a camera. Hello there. <laughs> Pathetic, disgusting, nauseating even. It's even nauseating. Now, one thing I will say is he's obviously working very hard, right? And it's kind of sad because he's trying to defend the honor of a girl who doesn't love him. It's true. And I got receipts. I have video evidence that Nina does not love Logan Paul and it's only with them for the money. Watch this. Check this out. You will be shocked. You'll be dismayed and you'll be disgusted. And he is a simp for staying with her. Watch this. Did you see that? If you missed it, uh, watch it again. He said, I love you. She did not respond in kind. She did not say, I love you back. She said, okay. This is a man who is going to war for you. People have died in boxing. They have. People have died in boxing matches. You don't know what's about to happen. He might die in there. This might be the last time you speak to him. And he's trying to defend your honor. Any woman on planet Earth with an inkling of interest in their significant other would just automatically blurt out, I love you too. Not Nina. Not Nina. This is just, wow. Like how low is Logan Paul's self-esteem? to be with this woman. Now, maybe you're thinking I, I, I'm making something out of nothing. Well, you know what? I got some footage. They'll put the nail in the coffin here. They'll make us a closed and shut case. You will not believe what she does in this next bit. It's, it's after the fight. Okay. It's after the fight. They're on the tour bus. Okay. Here we are. They're in the back of the tour bus. Now, Logan, he's dehydrated here. He fought the full fight all the rounds further dehydrated himself by drinking prime. And now he needs some water. So right here is his little bottle of water. Okay. On the, on the tray between them, but closer to Nina, his fiance, who I'm telling you doesn't love him. And this will prove it. Watch what happens. You're, you're you are not going to believe this. It is shocking. Watch. Beat that bitch's ass. No, he's hit. Oh my God. Did you see that? Watch it again. Beat that bitch's ass. No, he's his. <laughs> wow. If you need me to explain it to you because you're a mongoloid, watch this. So he's going to reach for this bottle of water. Now, this bottle of water is really close to her arm. 
She doesn't realize he's reaching for the water, you see. She thinks he's reaching over to touch her. And she is so disgusted by this man. She loathes him so much that she jumps out of her seat to get as far away from his fingers as possible. Let's take it frame by frame. No, let's watch it in slow-mo, even better. Do you see how far she jumped? If she jumped any further, if she jumped one inch further, she would have flown right out that tour bus window to her death. She would have literally died. That is how much she is disgusted by this man and is only with him for his money. This is video proof. I don't think this bothers Logan. You know why? I'll show you why. Watch this. This is from, this is a clip right before the fight, okay? Back in the change room. How do you, bro? Yeah, I'm proud of you, man. You see that? KSI and Logan Paul. They're gay for each other. Look at that. Look at KSI's hand. Look at this loving embrace. Look at this disgusting display of degenerate homosexuality. Rubbing each other, getting each other aroused, rubbing their boners against each other. Everything is just weird about this whole world. This whole world is his entire inner circle. Even his trainers, like his trainer is completely out to lunch. I mean, just check this out. Okay, here he is with his, his coach. He's like taking candy from him. Do you see this? Am I the only one who noticed this? He has two hats on. One with the brim pointed this away, one with the brim pointed uh, that away. The term ass hat was invented for this asshole. And this dude is old. I get it if you're a 15 year old and you're trying to stand out and be all douchey and stuff. This dude's like 90 and he's doing the double hat? Really dude? The wild and wacky world of Logan Paul. Now you're thinking, oh come on, come on Sewer King, don't blow this out of proportion, big deal. He's just, he's holding Logan's hat on his head. Oh really? Oh really? Okay. Well, let's, uh, let's go to 319 of this video and look at this. What is this? What is, that on, what is that on the brim of his hat? That LED light, what is that? You know what that is? That's a wireless mic. That's like one of those Rode wireless mics, okay? Now, a normal person would pin that to their lapel, right there. And, and he's got a lapel, okay? That's where no, a normal person would put it. But he's like, no, I'm ass hat. I need to put this on the brim of my hat. That's not even good placement for a mic. In fact, the first time I shot this video, I placed the mic on the chair behind me. And that's why I'm reshooting it, so I know a lot about poor placement of microphones. And this is it, folks. But he's not done. He's not done with the hat hijinks. No, he's not. Same clip, but he turns his head, and you will be shocked what you see next. Squat. Right there. He's got the tag of the hat on the other side. One side, he's got the wireless mic. The other side, he's got the tag of the hat. All right, so in this clip, we got Cuck Hansen the world's greatest tax evader. But this is not about cuck. Check this out. Buddy, I can't believe we got Chris Hansen. Dylan Dennis. You see that? You see that? Let me back it up a couple frames. Here's ass hat again. Now he's got his sunglasses on the brim of his hat. So let's do a review of all his ass hattery. One, the double brim. Two, the mic on the brim. Three, the tag. Four, sunglasses on top of the brim. You're telling me these are all coincidences? No. This is all done on purpose. His entire inner circle, his entire world is just cringe, douche, baggery. Come one, come all. And I've had it with them. I've had it with them.